So now let's start in doing uh, the second pump in parallel with the existing one. And the command that I will use here, first I will copy the pump. And to do the copy of the pump, we can use the command CP. And you can see that CP appears right here. And I click on enter. And I, can, I need to select the object. And in this case, I will use the blue square. So when I do this, I select the, the objects that I want to. And I don't want the P. So if I let my shift uh, press it and I click on, on the object, I can select or I can deselect the object. So if I want to select again, I just need to do the selection. And if I want to deselect, I click on shift and click on the object. So in this case, my object is already uh, selected. I, want, I need to click on enter. And when I do that, I need to specify what is my point of references. And I will use this point of reference and I click one time on that. And now I have a copy of my pump and I will draw this in the bottom. So you can see as the auto, auto function is on, uh, it is aligned with the other one. If I remove the auto on, it can go to anywhere in my screen. So let's keep it aligned. And now I click one time and as I use the function CP, copy, I can copy as many times I want the drawing. So if it was more than, than one pump, I can do that. Every time that I click, I will have another copy of the pump. You can use also the, the function, the control C, but it is not the, the best way to do that. M many of the Microsoft function you can use in your drawing, like control Z to, to return to the previous, to the previous sequence. So if I do a control C, and if I do a control V, I can add also, but it do, it does the copy only one time, and I don't recommend you to do that. So when I select a drawing and I want to de delete, I just need to, to tap in delete in my notepad. So let's delete this. And now what I will do is do another copy. And right now I will copy this pipe here and you can have imagined that instead of in doing uh, copy by copy I could just select everything of this and do the copy of my my drawing but I don't want to do that to show you how to use other functions or other commands that we have in AutoCAD. 